How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to our tea guide continuation. Um, this will be for phase three. This is for Inception, when Alexander spawns after you kill BJ and CC. Uh, once again, this follows the LPDU strats for 2023, fully up to date, all that good stuff. If you would like to join the LPDU Discord server, it is down below in the description. Um, the LPDU Discord server is basically a server for... Um, LPDU strats to complete all the ultimates. Uh, has a wonderful community, wonderful people. And I would highly recommend you all to join them if you would like to get into ultimates on the light data center. So if you're on Europe, you know, this is basically the strats we use. Um, without further ado, uh, let's get started with the video and let's showcase the next phase. All right, so I'd like to start this off by just exactly where we left off um, after Cruise Chaser and uh, Brood Justice are dead. First thing you're gonna do here, as soon as you come to the middle, is you're going to look at True North, which is A marker. And then four things um, are gonna basically happen here, um, and it's completely random. And so we're gonna go over each step here and how to basically resolve each mechanic. So, okay, so I'm gonna move over here to the toolbox and kind of go over um, basically this whole mechanic right at the start. So, first of all, Brute Justice and Cruise Chaser, um, they're gonna show up either west and east or east and west. Their positions are always, like, they're not always there. Brute Justice can also be east. Cruise Chaser can always be, uh, also be west. So, take this into consideration. This is going to matter here. So, there's four things to watch out for here. And we're gonna talk about each one and where you need to go. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is Christmas Tethers. Uh, this you see here on the Scholar and the Dragoon, this we refer to as Christmas Tether. And Christmas Tethers um, is a red tether between these two players. And what's going to happen essentially is um, they're both going to go east no matter what the boss is. Remember, like we said, Brute Justice can be east, Cruise Chaser can be west or whatever. Always go east if you have Christmas Tether. And that's the debuff icon. It's like red with arrows pointing in. Um, the DPS will always position south side, and the tank or healer will always position north side of the specific ad that you're going towards, okay? As long as it's east, always, okay? For west, if you are west, you don't have a debuff. So if you end up and you notice, oh, I don't have a debuff, you're just gonna go to the west, add south and north. Look at this, dancer is south, tank is north, same rule applies here. DPS always goes south, tank or healer always north in this situation, okay? Now, if you are a tank healer, okay, with a far tether, now this tether, the Dark Knight has it, and one of the players here has it as well. Basically, the tank or healer who has a dark tether um, will go all the way east, okay? So you're going to be positioned all the way to the east of the map, and you're gonna bait if you have cruise chaser on your side okay so let's take this example here like let's say there's a cruise cruise chaser is on east and you have dark tether you don't want to be all the way to the edge of the arena you want to be a little bit more forward so that you can bait the cone um basically and that's essentially how it's done here if you are a dps and you have the dark tether or far tether you will go west. You will go west to the edge. Same rule applies, just different place, okay? Now, if you have aggravated assault, I will show the icon on your screens right now. The This icon is like an electric debuff icon, and basically, um, if you have this icon, you're gonna go to where Brew Justice is, okay? <clears throat> so whether Brew Justice is east or west, you're gonna go to his side onto the edge. So let's take this example here on like on the toolbox. Here we have, right, three people, right? One of them has the dark tether thing and two of them have uh, aggravated assault debuff. So these two basically just need to go towards Brute Justice side because Brute Justice spawned here. So we're gonna go there and that's it. That's all you need to do and just sit on the edge. 
Okay, so I'm gonna bring us back here into the mechanic when I did it. Um, and in my example here, I don't have a debuff. So I'm gonna let this run through here and you can notice right off the bat here, I don't have a debuff. And so I position west, right? Because I always go west here. No debuff players always go west. And I'm positioned south side, okay? And then you're just gonna hold there and then you cannot move after that. And there it goes. And yes, I'm dancing because I love the music. <laughs> Ignore my face cam. Um, but essentially, yes, this is what's gonna happen. And so I'm gonna go back a little bit here and just kinda showcase all the movement of the other players, POVs, okay? So I'm gonna give, uh, here, here it goes, okay. The summoner you see right here, all right? He has the dark tether, so he goes west. This person here is a tank, right? And this tank is gonna go, as you can see, um, this is the Dark Knight. This Dark Knight is gonna go to the east, okay? Now, there's Christmas Tether right here between our Reaper, Aragon, right? And this person here who is the, uh, the Sage, okay? So the Sage and the Reaper are gonna go east side here. You see the healer positions north and they go right side always because they have Christmas Tether. This is how the Christmas Tether looks like. It's basically just a red tether and that's... That's pretty much it. You. That's how you'll know. And you'll have a debuff icon as well, kind of telling you. This is the party list here I'm going to show you right here. These are all the icons. So you have the Christmas tether right here, which is red uh, pointing arrows in. You have the electric debuff, which is uh, aggravated assault, right? So these two players here, Solar and Takuma, they have the aggravated assault. And they're going to go to BJ's side, as they did here. And then you have obviously the Dark Tethers, which is Dark Knight and the Summoner. And of course, me and Warrior. So me and the Warrior are basically positioned here on the west side. And that's basically it. We're just gonna let the Resolve uh, mechanic. And that's primarily how you do it. And then pretty much you just stand here. Like you can't really move, you can't do any actions. Um, so you just let it run and then course alexander spawns right so let's go over alexander here so the first thing alexander will do here when he spawns is he's just gonna do a tank buster so make sure you're facing the boss north if you're tanking this and just let it do its thing and pretty much the rest of the party just hit him um and then there's gonna be the next big mechanic coming up which is um inception so inception uh has a few steps here that i'd uh, like to go over so here it goes, all right? And we're gonna take this step by step so you understand exactly the movement patterns. Just to quickly let you know, um, four people are gonna have to do AOEs and four other people are gonna have to basically pull orbs. The first thing you'll do here is you will look at Alexander wherever he spawns. So in this example, um, you will go opposite of him, okay? So just to clarify this 100%. Let's see, Alex is here. So I'm looking at Alexander, okay? Opposite of Alexander. If you don't have a tether, you go opposite of him, and then you're gonna land, basically, you're gonna have AoEs here, okay? So I'll show you the positions here firstly before I dive deeper. Here we go. Let me just pause it in the perfect time. There we go. So you see this red button here? There's a red button all the way. Um, basically, these red buttons are in, in the Cardinals. Um, as well as intercardinals on the arena. You're gonna use this as the indicator of how much you need to move um, separately from each other, okay? So you're gonna stand like this. This is your position, kind of like a square. And it's very important that each AOE doesn't overlap with each other. So don't let this AOE touch, you know, each other at all. Look at the red circle here. See how there's a gap between them? You wanna make sure you align yourself with the gap. If you see this red button, not the first gap, the second gap. You wanna stand here, okay? So skip one, stand here. Same thing with the other side, okay? If you are going to spread further, um, you're gonna just stand um, away from them and you're gonna just use this center line here as the indicator and just align yourself in such a way that you are not touching each other. So create some distance, all right? And the mechanic will resolve like this. It's important they don't overlap, by the way, because it's going to be a bad time for you. So as long as they don't overlap. 
Right after that, you're gonna run straight to Alexander. All right, that's basically the first step. All right, and the stuff behind you goes off, and that's basically if you don't have a tether. Now, if you do have a tether, things are gonna work out a little differently, okay? So we can see this example here. Simplest way to put this is if you have tether, you're always gonna resolve them northwest and northeast. Two people resolve it northwest, two of the other people resolve it northeast. Um, basically, if they spawn like this, um, you'll see that he just stretches it out on a red button. Remember how we said there's red buttons on every intercardinal and cardinal? You're basically gonna resolve them there. Um, there's an intercardinal here, red button, and one here as well. So as long as you're on the red button, you're good. Use the red button is your best friend, okay? So you're basically gonna do it that way. Now there is time. Um, you, as soon as you move out, the orbs don't begin moving out immediately. You have time to position yourself and then let it come out. So all you need to do is just stretch it out into cardinal, cardinal, into cardinal, cardinal. Do not go south side. If you if you have tether, you basically never want to go south side of Alexander because this is where the AOEs happen and you don't want to be here. Okay? And right here, you can see the example as I move my camera. You'll see that each person is on a red button. This person is on a red button at northeast side. East side, there's a person on the red button. Northwest side, there's a red button there. And of course, on the far west, they're all standing on red buttons, stretching these out. And you can see the orbs, the balls are coming towards them. And they're basically going to soak it. So as they come out, they soak them. It does an explosion. And then you're going to move to Alexander. At that point, the whole party needs to move between Brood Justice and Alexander. So you can see Brood Justice is here and then Alexander is here. You can stand in this, it's fine. And then you're gonna sit here and I'm gonna explain the baits, okay? So let's go ahead and explain the baits here. The best way I can put this is the off tank will bait the flare thrower on true heart side. And the true heart side, it will be very visible. I will show you the, the heart. It's like a targetable thing later on after this. Um, basically, you're gonna bait it to true heart side, which is opposite of Alexander. And then the main tank after that will go to the center and they will bait it. And then of course the party uh, will take the flare thrower on Alex's side, okay? So it basically goes one, two, three, just like that. And of course here it is in game. So remember, you go all the way north, let the waves happen and then you move yourself towards between BJ. If you're, uh, if you're the tank, you see he already baited once here and now the main tank is baiting and now the party is baiting. The baits happen if you're closer to BJ, basically. All right, and now you're gonna move over to True Heart and you're basically gonna build Job Gauge. Just whack this, you're not gonna do any damage, but all you need to do is just hit it a few times, uh, build Gauge, and now I'm gonna be talking about the positions of what happens here. Basically what happens is True Heart will go in the direction after like you just saw, and that's basically where Alexander is gonna spawn, okay? Now looking at True Heart, all right, so you're looking at True Heart. The tanks plus shared sentence DPS will go to the right. Shared sentence is a stack, and you'll know because you'll have a tether. If everyone else will basically just go left. So I'm gonna show the example here. You can see True Heart is gonna move in a bit, and it moved right here. We already have the debuff here. I have aggravated assault debuff. So I will go left, basically the whole party goes left except the person with the sentence. So when we say shared sentence, basically what it is, it's a three-man stack, all right? And the three-man stack, you will know it based on the debuff you get. It's like a three icon. I'm gonna show the party list so you get it here. As you can see in the party list here, we have the summoner with shared sentence. They have this three like humans icon. This basically means shared sentence. And they're gonna go to the east looking at the heart, okay? And you'll see the tank has dark tether. Their tank always goes east looking at heart. Um, and the rest of the party will just go west. If you have the aggravated assault icon as well, or if you don't have a debuff, you're gonna go west. And so that's basically it. You're just gonna hold here and Alexander will cast an attack and then you're gonna go in position for the bait of cruise chaser. And I'm gonna explain this part here. So after this mechanic resolves and everyone did their thing, the next thing is this. 
So what happens here? And I'm gonna basically simplify this as best as I can, okay? Kuzchesha will spawn right in the middle and the healers will take cleaves, true and north. True, uh, sorry, rather, true north and south. The best way I can put this is the healers will be taking north and south, okay? You can assign it however you wish, but you can make the pure healer go south and the barrier healer going north. Okay, so what about who goes west? How do we decide who goes west? And the best way is, to, to explain this, is the DPS who had a blue tether will be taking the cleave true west. And that's towards BJ in this. So you can see here, they just go west immediately. And this basically is how you resolve this mechanic. Everyone else is just going to be on the east side. East side, of course, being away from BJ, because BJ is going to jump. The off tank will go all the way on the edge of East to bait the jump. And that's basically this mechanic resolved. I'm going to show this in game now. So as you can see here, we resolved our mechanic, and then Cruise Chaser's in the middle. Everyone goes in their positions, right? We stand right on the one marker. And then Brute Justice is going to jump. He jumped right there, as you just saw. Jumped right past above our heads. And then you're basically just going to DPS here. It's going to do Tank Buster. So do your thing here. It's going to be also the raid buff window, so you can unleash your damage. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this phase guide. The next one is Wormhole. Um, it's already out, so feel free to check it out. Um, it's going to be at the end of the video. Um, you can just click on it through there, the whole playlist. Again, feel free to join LPDU. You know, get in on it, get on the PFs, get in on the T, and the final, final guy will be coming out with Perfect Alexander. So stay tuned for that. Alright guys, have yourselves a good one, and peace out.